welcome to Art Serapy. I'm your host, Serapina, and in today's video, I'm going to share the second half of my Inktober drawings and discuss my Inktober experiences with you. If you don't know what Inktober is, it's a month-long drawing challenge started by artist Jake Parker. The goal is to use ink and other physical mediums to create a piece of art every day during the month of October. It's been going on for a few years now and has amassed a pretty big following, so if you've never gone on Instagram and checked out the Inktober hashtag, I strongly recommend you do so because you will be inspired and impressed. I first became aware of Inktober in 2016, and at that point I was about five months into a regular art practice. I didn't officially participate, but I did manage to eke out one or two pen and ink drawings that I was honestly pretty meh about. I love color, and so inking pens tend to be a real challenge for me. This year, I thought about participating again, but I wasn't sure if I'd really go through with it. Then when day one came around, I figured that I would give it a shot, but I did something important. I also gave myself permission to take days off if I needed it. I know that I'm super sensitive to burnout, and I was worried that if I put too much pressure on myself to do it every single day, it would stop being fun. And I didn't want it to stop being fun. I wanted it to be a blast. To my surprise, that approach actually worked really well giving myself the freedom to not finish Inktober every day, I think it actually encouraged me to complete more days than I would have otherwise. Because if I'd been committed to all 31, and then, you know, I needed to put my sketchbook away for a day because, you know, I got sick or I just wasn't in the mood, uh, you'd get that sense of, ugh, all is lost, right? Because you ruined the streak. But if you start out saying, listen, I'm not, you know, terribly concerned with doing 31 days, I just want to do regular practice, um, then that really works out. So if you've been holding back on participating in Inktober because you don't think you can do all 31 days, that's totally okay. Like, adjust it. Make your own rules for yourself. Make it work for you. Altogether, I completed 14 out of 31 days, almost halfway, and so much better than I did last year. I ignored the official prompt list for the most part because I wanted to focus on improving my portrait drawing specifically, and that theme actually worked out really well for me because I also didn't have to spend three hours trying to figure out what to draw. Instead, I could just pick my photo of who I wanted to draw and then draw what I saw. Um, and that was really helpful. At times, I really questioned whether or not I could pull off some of these portraits, but I tried anyway. And regardless of how much they actually came out looking like the people I based them on, uh, I think most of them look pretty good. And now I have a bunch of pieces that I can be really proud of. I think one of the best things about Inktober is that it gives you a great opportunity to see how you've improved over the past year, as well as where to keep improving from here, and then also it allows you to take a moment and appreciate your work and how your practices paid off. With the exception of one or two drawings, I'm really proud of how my Inktober work turned out. It took me in a direction that I don't think I would have explored otherwise, and honestly, when I look at my finished pieces, I'm kind of surprised that they actually came from my hands. I tend to work really slow, too. so like slowly adding to a piece over weeks and weeks, like doing a mark a day. So it was also a really good self-esteem boost to see that I could do something in an evening or an afternoon and be happy with it. Overall, I'm really glad I jumped in and gave it a go. It's a wonderful event to help you start integrating a regular art practice into your life, and I promise you will be in supportive, delightful company if you participate. So if you didn't catch it this year, definitely consider doing it next year. It's never too late. Well, I guess technically November it's too late, but you know what I mean. Thank you for joining me for this video. If you enjoyed it and want to hear more of my inane ramblings, please do that like and subscribe thing. And leave a comment if you have any thoughts. I would love to hear about how Inktober went for you as well. In the meantime, keep on drawing, breathe in, art out, and I'll see you next time.